Three rounds in the women's flyweight division. It is being brought to you by PMC On Demand. Introducing to you first, fighting to my left, out of the blue corner. She is a Muay Thai fighter, holding a record of one win against two defeats. She stands in at five feet seven inches tall, weighing officially at 125 pounds. Fighting and representing Dallas, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Katie, the ambitious strike. And across the PFC steel, her adversary fighting out of the red corner. She's a mixed martial artist holding a perfect record that includes two wins against no defeats. Standing five feet four inches tall, weighing officially at 125 pounds. Hailing from Albuquerque, New Mexico. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing Lydia Volchista Warren. Volchista, Russian for wolf. Hey, and just a moment, the great Ray Flores out there rocking the announcing. Oh, he's the best. Coming into our fifth, or excuse me, our fourth fight on the main card. Oh, what a one-two, that was a good one-two, drive down the middle. Nice peppering jab there by Miss Strite. Ooh, Katie throws a straight kick and it's caught by Lydia. Lydia, Lydia with a takedown. Around. Strite with a nice, a nice peppering on the side of the head there. Ooh, that never feels good. You can see Lydia though, kind of unconcerned with it, just She's working that takedown. Oh, now those, those stink. Lydia just working patiently. That's what, Lydia's been working a lot on wrestling with Muhammad from uh, he's our uh, he's the Jackson Wink wrestling coach from Chechnya. He's a he is a uh, master of re sports and wrestling, mm -hmm. which takes a lot for you know to get that in in the in the Soviet Union. Yes, the old Soviet Union. You can see Katie there trying to straighten and keep that head pressure from happening, which is what she needs to do. This is the right thing. Keep yeah. Lydia's head off center line and from your chin. Lydia hasn't done anything but just just pulling herself into position, but she's taking a lot of damage while she's doing that. I'm not sure how that'll play out. You see, now she's crossed she's, that leg. And she's climbing up that ladder, too, so it's going to make it a little harder for Strike to actually throw those, common, those punches. And two minutes into this bout, Katie Strike finds herself fighting off of the ground, trying to get out from underneath Warren. Warren advancing well, not doing too much damage, but controlling position. I don't think Strite intended on th thinking that they were going to go to the ground this early. I no. thought, I think they both, they, she both believed it was going to be a striking battle, which. Well, and as Warren said in her last fight, uh, you know, she had focused more on the striking. And this fight, we might see her back to that wrestling route. And Lydia has now climbed up the top. She's at the high, and Strite's making it easy for her to, like, put that pressure down now. And as long as she's above those knees, Katie's going to have a hard time getting any position. And you can see that's she's trying to clear those knees. Knee she's about to give her back up, which isn't a pretty, pretty good thing to do right now. Not with Lydia. And you can see Lydia just calm and patient. Ooh, and Katie on a heel hook. She throws the reap. She doesn't have it. Well, and you know, the ladies are so flexible. It's yeah. such a hard thing to finish with sweat. Katie doing a good job of maintaining that pressure, though, and getting back up. Lydia is able to. One minute, 53 seconds to go in this round. Katie's Ooh. now up. Good body shots by Lydia. Both of them making a little adjustments there. Lydia's not taking that back foot forward when she throws that over that right. 
her foot staying back, which is take, making her come up short there. Nice front kick. But... Ooh. She lands a nice body shot, but Katie Stripe makes her pay there with that right or left. Oh, that was the right. Another body shot. Her, I heard someone go. <laughs> Katie's st is staying very calm. I really like the way she's looking right here. Katie she looks like, like she's, she's in really good shape. She's holding her ground. Katie, Katie, when she's standing up right now, she's holding her ground. She's kind of pushing. She doesn't really want Lydia to push her back too much, and doing a really good job. Lydia, well, Lydia there with is a so powerful. Take down, but Katie kind of feeding that triangle up. Mm -hmm. Looks like she has it locked. I can't tell if she has the other leg in. No, she, she doesn't, doesn't have quite either. have it in. Oh, she does. She does. Yep, she's bird caged. She's looking. Lydia does not want to stack that direction. That's locked in deep. Lydia in a deep triangle. Strike working for that cry. We call it the triangle. It's the arm bar and the triangle. She's letting her legs loose off and on. She keeps opening her legs up. And if she didn't do that, she would actually have a nice oh, chance see of actually. Lydia yeah. framing heavy. And you can see that space there. Driving up. Katie's 15 seconds to go oh, in this round. Oh my goodness. Again, we see a triangle locked, but you can see it's not quite over the shoulder in that space that Lydia's creating to make. Now she changes that angle, and that hurts right there. Yeah. Lydia but fighting to the end. These elbows are big left, and into the saved round. By the bell. But man, Lydia was going to hold on for another like 20 seconds. Yeah, and you can see, you hear the pop from the crowd. And I'd have to say, if I'm in Lydia's corner, I'm concerned. Mm -hmm. Those elbows, I don't, I don't care how she stood up, those hurt. Yes, oh, yeah. I agree. And I'm going to say this, but Lydia is a very thick, muscular lady. Oh, very yeah. much. And all that muscle needs a lot of oxygen. Yes, it, it does. does. Katie is a very lean uh, let's well, see how comes, that factors it, in. It and we comes can see down to the cardio she, her too. corner is literally trying to shake her out right now. Yeah. We'll see, I think we'll see a little bit more when she stands up. Because she doesn't look like she's beat tired. No, 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 no. no. One thing yeah. about Lydia, too, I found out is she tra like rides and trains horses. And I'll tell you what, if you would do anything with horses in your life, your legs are ultimately so strong. So strong. And she is training at elevation. This oh, yeah. is true. That always is a benefit, for sure. Your recovery will be quicker in the rounds, in between rounds. That is a definite factor. And you can see, you're 100% you're right. Breath is back, energy is back, right back to the start of round one. Ooh, that was the truth that was close. And Lydia looks very tight. She looks very tight. She doesn't look relaxed. And Katie's using that range right now, which is very smart. against Lydia, a very powerful puncher. Katie doing a very good job to stay outside yeah. of Lydia's Staying outside jab. the power, exactly. The power, mm -hmm. yeah. Two very smart technical females Check right Check that there. kick. Mm -hmm. She's just not moving forward enough. She's, she's reaching for those. You can see Katie oh, smiled there because she kind of saw it and just moved right out of the way. If Strike were to wait and just counter with a hook, uh, Warren is leaving herself way out there. Katie being very careful to not back herself into an easy takedown. Nice left there. I'm not sure if that connected, though. Warren's going to have to find herself being a bully. She's moving in the wrong direction. She is not cutting the, she's not cutting the cage off. She's letting her just rotate around her left, rotate to that left. Katie's doing something I really like, which is going outside of range and going the wrong way to get you to overextend and then cut back to the, the weak side. That's yes. a very, that's a Holly Holm-esque movement. Very yep. much so. Um, very, very hard to deal with, but, and not staying there for the combinations of Lydia, because Lydia's landing at the beginning, but not able to stay in position to land her second and third blows. Lydia is hitting the body. She's connected to the body, but she's just not putting anything behind it. One shot to the body. He's not gonna, there's another body shot. That, now she does it after I say that. Yes, I think she's having a little bit of difficulty right now finding that range, that perfect range, because like you said, uh, Craig, Katie's making it very difficult. 
Yeah. If you watch Lydia when she's striking, she's throwing her combination. She's not moving her feet along with her, so she's reaching for everything. Yes, there's no planting Ooh. in base. That was a nice kick, but. though. This round has been, I mean, it's going to, if someone just does one thing, we're going to see the winner of the round. Yeah, I feel like right now, Stripe might be edging it out on a little bit of a, a point volume side, but any big takedown or strike could. That connected to Lydia. Yes. I felt that a little bit, but. Katie Strike's mouth is now open. Two minutes left here in our second round. Lydia Warren, Katie Strike. Ladies putting it on the line in the peak fighting cage here in Frisco, Texas for PFC yeah, 30. Just that reaching out. She's just. And we talked about this uh, a couple times previously where you were saying this is a common problem. You got to bring that back leg. And uh, it's, a, it's, it's a fundamental boxing thing, but in it has MMA. It under you. But it, in MMA, it can be, you're afraid of the takedown. Let's be right. frank. I train, I train a lot of strikers, and when I train the strikers, especially in MMA, you have to push them, you have to build the muscle memory, you have to teach them moving one, two, one, two, your feet, your hands, and once you get that into your muscle memory, then you can do something else. The problem with it is a lot of coaches don't have the time to go back and take an athlete all the way back the to the beginning, and so you build on, what happens is you're building on bad habits, Yes. and when you build those bad habits, you just add more, and even though it looks good, sometimes, ooh, a low calf kick. I think it was more of a trip, though. Yeah, I think she tripped, but it still looked exciting. <laughs> I mean... Strite really slowed down this this yes. this round. She's really not done a whole lot. And she's kind of leaning a little bit forward to Lydia instead of working on those level changes. Lydia's there she moved looks forward like that she's time. Finding her, yeah, that rhythm. Thirty seconds left in our round. Much closer second round. With ten seconds left, this is a very close round. Ooh, misses the spinning back fist. And to the third we go. Strike and Warren going into the third round. We walked a little bit some of these replays. And I think when you look at these replays, you'll see a lot of striking, uh, a lot of just ones, one twos, maybe a kick here and there. You don't really see a lot in this round. When you look at when they show the replays, when, when they show the replays. Oh, well, you asked for it. You're not getting them. Yeah. You're not. You're not. <laughs> you're getting dual shots of the of corner. The corner yes. Yeah. No, but again, I think, and going back to um, uh, what you were saying is the the ones and twos and not getting your footwork between means you can't put combos together because you're not in the space to do so. Exactly. You put combinations together, you're going to fall, fall down on your face. Now, I'm going to be honest. I think this might be the first fight of the night where I really don't know. I think that it could be 1-1. One, one. I think it might be 1-1. One, one. I think yeah. it's probably 1-1, one, one, but it could be 2-1. It could it be. It could be 2 nothing. I mean, it could be 2, two It really could. It could be 2-0. Oh. Honestly, so. where you're sitting for this fight for the judges could really determine what they see. Right. All right, and here we are, our final round before our co-main and main events. Lydia Warren, Katie Strike, 125, round three. Ooh, that was a beautiful one, too. It really she looked was. like she planned that out. I mean, you really, on the third round, you've got to turn up the pace, the volume, the whole nine. You just, you just have to go for it now. You've got five minutes. See, if you did a robot, like I call it a one, two, one, two, a one, two, one, two for Warren would be good right now because Strike doesn't do anything after she throws the one, two. A one, two, and if you're taking your steps forward, you can actually I put that combination. I would love to see Warren throw a straight jab, step to the right, and throw a hook. Yeah, because Ooh. she would catch her because she's moving. Yeah. She's right moving into, into her power. Or she's moving into her hook. That's what De La Hoya used to do. Yes. He would throw that, well, he would throw that jab Lead and a you. hook. His left hook was just, you know. The jab is the most un like underrated strike. First, cat. Warren's putting a lot more together this round so far. He's only a minute in, but 
she's had the majority of the output. Yeah, now she's stepping through, basically checking with her uh, her movement and hitting through the kick. That was another example. Strike is just throwing really kicks, and she needs to do something more than kicks because kicks don't show a lot. A lot of, a lot of judges don't see a low kick as something that's. Almost catches that foot. Ooh. Ooh, good overhand right there. And Lydia really is working the body, and this should be working. She should be going body to head at this point in time in the third round. It's pretty late. Yeah, you invest in the first and the, the second. Ooh, mm -hmm. but that was, a, that was a nice one. That was a nice body shot there. She mm -hmm. actually kind of made her move. She folded. Three minutes left in our final ride around here. Third round, Warren Strike. Third round of this flyweight women's battle. And we've it's had a very really back no... and forth battle, too. Yes. Oh. Strike tried for a takedown and she ended up on the bottom. Just Lydia relentless. captures that leg. I mean, she does a beautiful job on that takedown every single time. She's got to make sure she's not the one taking the damage, though. Oh, for, for sure. You know, at this point in time, you, you can't afford to let someone pepper you from the bottom. You have to just get up and climb that. There you go. She's yeah. got that, do that bottom arm trap now, climbing up. Two minutes to go in this round. Katie doing a good job of controlling that wrist, though. She is. Oh, there's some nice shots there. find ourselves back in the same position of the first round. Strike trying to oh, maintain. Oh, why would you Ooh. let her up? Who told her? Corner told who, her. Why would you do that corner? Yeah, I'm very surprised at that call. With one minute and 40 seconds left, that could have if been I'm the fight. The, if, I'm the, if I'm the wrestling coach, I'm yelling at my striking coach right now. <laughs> why did you tell her to get up? Yeah, I watched your heart just jump there. She was, like, oh. yeah, she was, she was, yeah, she was she was, doing what she needed to do to win that round. Unless they think she's behind and she needs a knockout. Maybe yeah. they say, Lydia, you lost those first two rounds. You, right. you can't afford to sit in here and just pepper. Right. Well, I would, I would personally disagree, but it's possible for sure. And again, to yeah, what you like said. Yeah, they like her striking right now. They, they, they like the fact that she's connecting some strikes. And yeah, but now she's every time she throws I, one strike, she takes a kick. I understand. Yeah. I mean, from where we're sitting, yes. But. And Strite has like literally not and been throwing any punches. It's just like a kick here and Warren's there. Warren's leg looks like an apple. It is bright red. She hasn't limped on it, it's, moved it. She no, doesn't it's care. Just, it's, a, it's a little red. I mean, it, sometimes us ladies with the olive skin, it's a little nice red. Nice check there. I don't, yeah, that's a beautiful oh, check. Oh, goal. That body shot hurt. There you go. Now, Warren. Strike's gonna really need to uh, learn to throw more common punches. She's ooh a big hard right there. Right. Yeah, it's hard right by the way. Nice one, two, body three to the head. Twelve seconds to go. All right, here it is. They kind of look at each other and say, "Let's go." And that is the end. Katie Strike, Lydia Warren, bring it to a decision. I would not want to be a judge in that fight. Because there's going to be booze one way or the other. Yes, and from where we're sitting, I saw a lot more action stem from Lydia and Katie Counter but not counter I don't, enough yeah, I, to I'm, solidify what ha you know, what was happening. I, I'm, I'm going to say, for me, I personally, I mean, I know it was very close. And in my opinion, I feel like Strike probably landed a little bit more overall, but I feel like the damage, the control, and the 
but the takedowns are going to be enough for a split for Lydia, in my opinion. I think you're, I think you're on it. Yeah. That's what I kind of. It's it's a split either way, in my opinion. Yeah. But it's going to be a split decision. Yeah. For sure. If, if, no, no, no if, three people can look. Say, <gasps> if they, they're going to say, we, you know, they're going to say unanimous. Yeah. yeah. It's piss me off. Yeah. No, they're going to say split. They have to say split. There's no way they can say because I mean, you'd have to decision. to say all three judges saw one, one girl win that fight. Yeah. I don't it's, think we saw the same thing. Because that second round was really a dividing factor. Very close. It was super close. But where the were third you sitting? Round, where were you sitting? For sure. But I mean. And I um, actually, you know, you say you thought Strike had more output. I didn't. I thought Lydia had more output with strikes because she was constantly throwing punches. Strike was only throwing like a kick here and there. I'll say that in the third round though, because remember, the third round is the one that sticks in your That's brain true. the most. And Lydia did throw more strikes in the third round. That's but, very true. But Strike did throw a lot in the first and second. And she did there a lot of go. countering. And into yes. the cage for our official announcement. By Ray Flores. Ladies and gentlemen, having gone the distance, we go to the scorecards. Here are your score totals. The judges have the contest 30, 27, 29, 28, and 29, 28. 20, All for your winner by unanimous decision, Katie and Ambition. Oh. Judging is so hard, guys. See a lot of booze. You oh, have a yeah. lot of booze. Yeah. I and told you there was going to be a split because people see it differently. Way. Yeah. And it, there's no, that was a great fight by Katie. I don't think the booze are necessary. Now, I will say I was surprised, but a split for sure. No, booze are absolutely unnecessary. First and foremost, I know the crowd is always a bit confused, but that was a fantastic fight. You kept coming every round. You maintained your distance in your game plan, and it worked out. You know, Craig, I don't want to make your suit dirty, but all I can say is I still look pretty. Hey, that was a fantastic fight. I know that it doesn't always feel that way when people are booing, but I want you to know we knew it was a split from the side. It was a very close contested fight. What do you think was the difference in the judges' eyes? You know, honestly, I'm thankful. I felt I landed more damage no matter what position I was in. Like I said, I look pretty. Uh, I know I'm definitely gonna run it back with Lydia for sure. I'm that good of a person. But uh, yeah, I laid damage, dude. And do you have anyone you'd like to thank or just talk to here at the end of your fight? Yes. First and foremost, I'd like to thank my head coach, Jessica freaking Miramontes, guys. And then my team, Unaffiliate Athletics Club, LP Martial Arts, Texas Select Boxing, and uh, George Stallworth, and my yoga instructor, Telly. But then last but not least, guys, I've been cross-training at Dennis's. And those guys make you want to be better. Like, just to be on a poster of all of them, definitely will be back on Tuesday. A very hard, tough fight, a great win. We can't wait to see you back in the cage. Congratulations.